With a twist of lemon, please. With a twist of airfing, please. Let's see here. Yeah, we have to catch every single one with a floater. And that's fine. Then... Let me see here. Hmm... Yeah, this level's got a lot of unfun parts to it. First of all is the, um, obvious unfun that comes from having to catch every single lemming with a, uh, floater. Yes, you must do this. Every single lemming must be caught. Wish I had an auto fire button. Or do I? No, I don't. I thought I had an auto fire set up. Guess not. So I'll just keep tapping the button. There we go. Turn one of them into a climber. Yeah, see, this guy has to go and save the world. Which means first he has to get over here. And then dig really, really fast. Eh. More safe states. Goes plant. Bit of a problem that. Okay then, rethinking. Oh right. Actually, yeah, that's what your extra builder is for. But then again, you don't even need it, so you could just wait for him to come back. So, I don't really know why they give you the extra builder. Now for the most fun part of the level. You've got one chance to get these guys free. Fortunately, that worked incredibly well. Next! Ah, Beast Squared of a level. Probably based off the sequel to Shadow of a Beast, or whatever. I'm gonna be quiet, because music. The level itself is, isn't that hard, though.
This part right here is really the only hard part of the level. Trying to figure out how to deal with this giant cluster of stuff. Fortunately, I think I ended up making it rather easy on myself. <laughs> Kind of nice that they give you 15 builders because they realize 10 isn't enough. Then again, if you're careful, 10 very well may be enough, so... Like I said, it's not a very hard level. It's a nice breather, and it's really cool to look at. Notice all the special levels use this exit. Slow! Yeah, really, really, really easy. Really, really easy. So.